Hello, hello everybody, Krillik back here with some more modded Skyblock. That's right, we are here, hanging out, in the world, having fun. Um, now, uh, I haven't gone anywhere with Applied Energistics, and we're probably not going to get to it this episode. We got other plans, other plans. Uh, a couple good, really good recommendations from you guys in the comments, so that's much appreciated. I love it. And I will be expanding on our IC2 stuff as well as everything else. I also have a team of guys that I know and like that are uh, working on getting the pack put together. Uh, but you'll see a video from me when we do have it available. Don't worry. It'll come. Okay. Um, other than that, I haven't really grinded up any other nether quartz yet. And we are jumping into something else right off the get-go. So, let's head on over to our IC2 section. This is kind of going to change the entire world as we know it. So, first of all, I'm going to take you and... Uh, not you. I'm going to need at least a little bit of you. I'm going to need, I think, that many of you. And about that many, if I'm not mistaken. So the thing that we're making is a jetpack. Alright. So first of all, we need this empty fuel can, which is seven tin plates. So let's make that quickly. Like so. Easy. This isn't a hard recipe whatsoever. We need some of the iron item casings, and we need an electronic circuit. So one of you, two more of you, and we need one, two, and six. All right. So we'll go over here. I'll put that in our cutter. Uh, not a very hard thing to do, but this is basically bringing it to next level. I've decided the one thing that has really slowed up my progress on this world is the fact that I'm strictly horizontal. There's no vertical. Down or up. And it's about time that we get to that. So, let's jump right on in. There we go. And jetpack. Oh yeah. Now we're flying. Well, not yet. So this guy here, you can... How do you charge it? I didn't build the wrong one, did I? No, that... What's that? That's nothing. This is the recipe, right? Uh-oh. I probably can't charge it in this. Oh no, how do I charge it? Hmm. Interesting dilemma. Well, let me be right back. Alrighty, so it is the case that I built the wrong jetpack. Whoopsies. That's alright. We have resources. We can survive. Let's get our power generation back up here. Still haven't, uh... Yeah. Still haven't made any nighttime generation, but that's okay. Alright, so... I'm getting everything that we have here together. So it is the electric jetpack. I just screwed up. Okay, apparently... Oh, that's why. We need the rubber cable. There we go. Okay, so we need this. We need an advanced circuit, which is like so. We need a little bit of glowstone, some iron casing. Now this guy here, I'm assuming you place in the size... I don't know if it matters much. So, let's do the cheapest, so it's planks with insulated tin and three RE batteries. Okay. Four, five, six of you. We'll need six of you. Uh, we need a little bit of this. We're going to need a little bit more um, tin uh, wiring. So let's get that cut up. This stuff here will pound twice. Oh, of course. Of course we're short a hammer. 
And yes, I know I could use the machine, but this makes it go a little quicker. In my opinion. There we go. Okay, let's get our cabling. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll need four like that. Alright, let's start by making the batteries. Three of them. Beautiful. Let's then make the block. So that should be there. And then the three batteries. Bat box. Alright. Now, I wonder if this will work. I hope so. We'll do that. We'll do that. And that. Electric jetpack. Okay, it does work. Alright. Just that null thing is kind of throwing me for a loop. So then you just throw it in your uh, in your battery box or anything like that. And it starts charging up. There we go. Beautiful. We're gonna fly. We're gonna fly. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting power. This is This is great. This is great. There's one other thing that I really want to get, and before we can, you know, carry on, is the angel block from Extra Utilities. Okay, very nice block. Uh, the problem is, I don't think I have any feathers. Let's take a quick look and see. No, I don't. Okay, we can't do that. That's okay. I would have liked to have that, but... What can you do, right? Okay, so the jetpack. So that just goes in your armor slot. Oh. 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 Beautiful. What's that? What's that? We're flying? Oh, yeah, we're flying. Now, you can go into your controls uh, and take a look through. And it should have all of your IC2 stuff. So here's some here, like the boost key, alt, etc. You got your Ars Magica, etc. Pretty good stuff. And your Wayla stuff. So from here, you can usually set, you know, a couple of your, your settings and whatnot, if need be, for your jetpack. Okay, so what I'm thinking... This is test flight number one. We are jumping off the edge of the world. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can you see this? Oh my. It's a new world. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my lord. Void world, you ain't got nothing on me, son. Let's let's get that spider. Ha 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 ha! Sucker! You know I've wanted to do this since I spawned in this world, because mobs keep spawning down here. There we go. Okay, so we have ourselves a little platform here that we can fly onto, yeah, like so, and build. So I can build down here now. We have a whole nother level of stuff that we can do. Oh boy, how sweet it is. Okay, well, um, I kind of wish I had build craft at the moment, but I don't. Because then I could just have used a filler. But we don't have that. So, I'm going to be building this manually out for a while here. Getting ourselves a nice little second floor. And then from there, we can really start ruling the world. That's right. Up we go. Voila. Now, as you can see, that didn't take too much power. 3,000 EU. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. But I really need to get a little bit more inspiration. Okay. This is this is why I've had a little bit of a lack of videos lately. I've kind of been lacking the inspiration to go fully into the building and everything. And 
you know, it's one of those things where I feel like I'm not giving her my all for you guys. And I don't think that's acceptable. So, uh, I've just kind of been playing when I feel especially inspired. And right now, I'm feeling more inspired. So, let's get rid of this now. Lost one. Voila. Okay, that's good, though. We can shore this out beautifully. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to try to basically, you know, do a nice big platform down here. And then from there, we can put our applied energistic stuff down there. And maybe even some more stuff. Have some quick transport between the two. Uh, for that, we might need to hunt some endermen. Ooh, that might be fun. Soon, soon, soon. So, I'll be back in a little bit once I have a little bit more done. Alright, alright, everybody. I am back. It is a different day, though. We had to do a few things and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I've been super busy lately, and I apologize. But, I'll try to get a few more up and running uh, more consistently here right away. I'm starting to get the vibe back, you know, like, I'm not completely feeling the building and everything, but it's it's slowly coming back to me. You know, I, I think I just burnt out a little bit on Minecraft, just a little bit too much, but it's okay. We're, we're getting there, you know, and I feel bad. I feel really bad, you know, I, but yeah, anyways. Uh, so I did do a little bit of work. I don't like what I did. Um, so it's probably going to be changing. Uh, but I did make myself some rubber boots as well off camera. Now I was thinking about making this whole level grass. Uh, but I decided that that is dumb. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I decided that. But I definitely want some nice green... You know, like, one of the things I miss in the sky block is having that beautiful, you know, just having nice green grass everywhere, right? So, we definitely need to look to incorporate that in a little bit more, but what can you do, right? All in due time, I need to get the building bug back, you know what I mean? Like, just, just want to play for five or six hours dead straight of nothing but building and tweaking and all that kind of stuff. And you can definitely lose that feeling. So, um, right now, I am not in that mood. I am in the mood of, you know, as little as possible, blah, blah, blah. So, I built this platform down here. Okay, now, there's my hole up. So, I know that all my barrels are right along that line. Okay, and that's important. I'm going to use that information to my advantage uh, when setting up my applied energistic system. And going vertical, like I explained last time, is going to help big time with this. So, for example, here... Ah, uh, see, I haven't gone over f quite far enough. I'm going to need a new uh, axe right away. But, you can see where we need to get to and build from there okay so right underneath there is basically the point where the barrels start right we have a nice big platform i'm going to be moving a ton of stuff around over the next few videos just tweaking okay so that's good that's important to know where that barrel is because that means we can use that information to our advantage with our applied energistic system okay um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of design work and, you know, like mapping out work. So, for example, I'm going to have all of these accessible from down below. We're a little low, so I might actually raise this up one. But, so these will all tie into our applied energistic system. Okay? Don't worry about that. I'll have to clean that up. And then we can also tap into... The multi farms through here as well, right there and there, and our 
um, IC2 stuff as well. So, let's see. So if this is here, what if we just, I don't want to impact that multi-farm, see? So let's just build this out a little bit more. I really don't want to get in the way of that multi-farm for when I want to potentially automate it after the fact. And I don't want to get in the way of these barrels. So maybe something like right here might work pretty good. I might have to move it again, but what can you do, right? go and one two three build this up again as you saw last time and then was it a full row on top I think one spare. Did I... What? What? How do I have a spare? Oh, I missed a spot. That's why. Okay, so we'll get this all built and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we have it built down here. Um, I got it all set up again. Uh, very nice fitting. I do have a torch up top, so telephone. Never ends, guys. Never ends. One sec. Sorry about that. That was the Heart and Stroke Foundation calling to look for volunteers. Sadly, I don't have enough time, or else I would. Alrighty, so anyways, uh, blank pattern. Okay, 32 of them, just like that. Call her a day. Uh, very important item. Uh, we are going to throw them in our pattern encoder here. And we are definitely going to get started in some of the automation almost right away. And the first thing I want to set up is the disk drive. Uh, so the, the I'll probably just do the 16K to start with here. Um, just because it's a little bit easier. And I'm going to try to store most of this stuff in barrels or other forms so that we... We don't really need bulk storage, if you know what I mean. We'll just need storage for everything else, right? So storage for this stuff, you know, just the little odds and ends and the auto crafting stuff, okay? And the farm stuff. So let's do the 16K first. So this works really easily. You basically select a storage cell. What? Why can't I shift right click? It's not letting me. Oh no. It's not letting me do it. That's terrible. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to just manually enter it in then. Um, so the basic processor is one of the first steps. So that's the quartz cutting knife with the gold ingot, some silicone, and some redstone. So if we grab some of this, some of our materials... We'll need a piece of gold, and I'll also set up the diamond one at the same time. Like so. And you just go over to the table, you put in your items as you need them. Oops, just one. Like that, and you hit encode. Okay? That's all there is to it. You do that, you hit encode. Very important first items. Uh, very handy. Another really important first item is actually the quartz cutting knife as well. Uh, which comes with sticks and all that kind of stuff. And, and basically all of your vanilla recipes are usually highly recommended to go in here as fast as possible. So getting some wood planks like this and going, okay, sticks, encode. Crafting bench, uncode. You know. A uh, chest in code, right? These are all things that you're going to see in recipes. And you're going to be like, ah, you know, I needed, I need that, 
right? And you'll need it to craft other items as well. And of course, I'm short a couple sticks. See? You never know when you're short stuff. There you go. And like in code. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these items, place them in my ME molecular assembler. So now my system should know how to make any and all of those. Pretty straightforward, right? Not too, too bad at all. Um, from here, we need a few other things. Uh, for the storage cell, we need some Certus Redstone, and we need an ME Basic Processor. Okay. Now, of course, none of this is going to work until we actually hook them up. Right? These machines are not seeing the molecular assembler down here at the moment. So, all of this is kind of just prep work. There we go. So we'll make one of these. And we'll just throw it in the furnace. I really have to move these. I'm getting sick and tired of coming back here. But that's okay. All in due time. There we go. So the basic processor. Very useful in creating some of this stuff. So that goes there. We're going to have some Certus all around it. And then just some more redstone. I'm not sure why. Usually it just allows the shift clicking, but that's okay. So we now know how to make this storage cell. The next thing that we need to do is how to make this storage segment, which is three storage cells with another of those basic processors. So I'm going to need to actually make another processor to be able to do this because I can't shift right click. That's a shame, but oh well. So let's just do this quickly. Of course it won't let me do that either. I must be missing like an NEI plugin or something. But oh well. We'll get her fixed up soon. Okay, and let's make our first storage there we go let's do that now I don't know why it's not letting me but it is here that's strange okay grab that and now we can set up the pattern for that storage segment right which is the three storage cells some glass Redstone and the basic processor. Get a piece of glass. So I'm going to be crafting up a whole bunch of different things here. Uh, basically setting it all up. Uh, but I'm not going to bore you guys with it for the most part. I think it's like this. Yes. Uh, and so, for, so on and so forth. I'm probably also going to run wiring to connect down to here. Uh, so next episode, we'll look at starting to get some AE storage capabilities and potentially incorporating these barrels into storage as well. As well as work on the lower level quite a bit and maybe even do a little bit more gussing up of certain things. So we'll see. All right. Thank you so much for watching. It is so much appreciated. You guys have no idea. I love you all. Have a good one.